Now, this is how strong we were. Now, a sword, we, the sword, you know, the shields we carry. Now, what was that with the, uh, the 300? They were known to carry. Their, their shields weighed 30 pounds. Can you imagine? And no, the whole, the whole, hey, I might not sound like a lot, but it is. That's a lot you know, of weight. To hold a shield right here. In war? Keep it there. Right, in war. Yeah. In the midst of. I be holding it up, but you, your other hand doing its own business. I'll be at home practicing trying to hold the weight. Just hold it there. <laughs> but it's heavy, ain't it? You just try it for hours, though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yep, yep. And they ran long with this equipment. Right. You know? Yeah, they ran with it. They ran hours on it. Hours! Yeah, power level. Right. This was in the Bible, though. This ain't nothing we put in here. We ain't making this up. Right. Yeah. 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 Y
with his brand name on the proof, like he's the one that made it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can like, like you know what I'm saying? Like Chiquita yeah. made that banana. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And at this shop, the brother of Joa, the son of Jeff, Jeff Uriah, was chief among three, and he lifted up his spirit against 300 and slew them and had the name among the three. Was he not most honorable among the honorable of the three? Therefore, he was the captain. Howbeit, he attained not unto the first three. And Benaniah, the son of Jehoiada, Ada, the son of the, the son of a valiant man, a Kabzel, who had done many acts, he slew two lion-like men of Moab. Two lion-like men. Man, that's some of their best. Right. He went down also and slew a lion in the midst of a pit in the time of snow. <laughs> and he slew an Egyptian, a goodly man, and the Egyptian had a spear in his hand. But he went down to him with a staff, a little stick, and plucked the spear out of the Egyptian's hand and slew him with his own spear. These things did ben the son of Jehoiada. Yeah. Because a true master of martial arts, he can kill your ass with a toothpick. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's where the martial arts come from. He had the name among the three mighty men. He was more honorable than the third. Did y'all know Bruce Lee? We've said this a billion times. Bruce Lee's a good life. I can tell you. His spirit. His spirit. Actually, personally, he looks just like a nigga. He looks just like his eyes. Man, his eyes, the way he moves. And that's, that's the one thing I was confused about. How can you tell somebody that his word? It's the spirit. It's all spirit. It's the whole spirit. It's the spiritual The scripture says, uh, Romans 8 and 14, it says, For as many that are led by the spirit are the sons of God. It said, The spirit beareth witness. Hey, get that. It said, The spirit beareth witness. It don't say the flesh bears witness. It said, The spirit. Everything we do is spiritual, bro. Romans 8 and 14. 8 and 13. For if you live after the flesh, you shall die. See, if you live after the flesh, saying, just judge them by appearance. You know what I'm saying? You're going to die. You're going. For if you live after the flesh, you shall die. But if ye through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, you shall live. For as many as are led by the Spirit of the Most High, they are the sons of the Most High. The sons of the Most High are Israelites. Keep the spirits going. can always be deceiving though too. No, no, no. Well, no, 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 you, can't, no, no. you can't be deceived by nobody. Nobody can't, nobody, somebody can't come to well, you. Well, you were, they smile on their face. They can, they but one, not one, me. Not see, me. Not, see, when the Lord gives you the Spirit. Not me. That never happened to you at all. Oh, it, it, before the truth, yeah. you understand what I'm saying? But not now though, that's a different when you, Hey, when the Lord's dealing with you, it's a yeah. whole different world. Yeah, that, that scripture tells you, uh, what's yeah, that? Before, yeah. What's that? Before. Isn't that a book of John that says you get the gift of spirits and all that? Some some people have. Oh yeah, that's on Corinthians. Did they got the gift of the spirit? Well, no, you about no, no, no. Some people can judge spirits better than others. Because mm -hmm. some brothers I noticed they had they have they can't tell at all. Yeah, at all. You know what I mean? <laughs> they can't tell who an Israelite is until the elders tell them. You know what I mean? So we we, we can just tell by the spirit. We we'll take one look at somebody. We've been out here long enough. We've dealt with many people on the internet in person. You know. Yeah. Well, that's why teaching helps you learn. Can I say another thing though? Well, how can y'all tell? He's an Israelite. I can tell. Act like an Israelite. Spirit, bro. It's spirit. Everything's a spirit. He acts like a nigga. Because them comfies. We, if we have them comfies, they say it's only niggas, Hispanic, uh, Cubans, and all that stuff. I'm just saying, how can you tell? And they charge $600 for a garment, too. They're not spiritual people. They're the city of the Negro. Yeah. 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 And the spiritual people also say. Even his mom's an Even their mom is an Israelite, man. She acts just like my mom. Hey, read the rest of that. Yeah. Okay, For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The spirit itself bears witness. The spirit bears witness. With our spirit. That we are the children of the most high. It is all spiritual. But like I said, you do this. Thing. It's all spiritual, man. He's not gonna give it to you like that. He has, he gave it to some of us like that. Because I remember back in the 80s. I'm talking about back in the 80s before I was far from the truth because I was thinking I was looking for something I had But I remember, I, I had white friends, you know? Some of my mind was something to do. You know what I'm saying? Like a certain athlete. I was always saying in my mind because I was a Christmas Hill player. And I was noticing shit like Terry Brash on the way he, the way he played football. 
Terry Brown. Yeah, I don't know how. How can you tell somebody the Israelites play this play? Because when you look behind, look, it's the spirit. Listen, the way he dropped uh, back, the way he dropped back. He got ball. rhythm, he got, he got rhythm, really rhythm, smooth rhythm. rhythm. You know what I'm saying? That's the spirit. That comes with practice, though, baby. No, no, no. Now, come on, bro. If I practice it, oh, hell yeah, listen. You can't practice it. If you try to practice it, you can be good at it, and then you just with the groove. No, yeah, no, no. Most of them, most of them good at it. Like that's Alan Iverson said, who needs practice? That's like me no, saying, right, right, that's right. like me saying, the way you said practice? That's like me saying, the way he walked. never came to practice. Nah, that's like me saying, the way he walked, that's an Israelite walk. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. You, you can't you can't fake the funk, bro. Can't you just can't do you it. Can't fake it. Just can't do it. How does how do Israel walk? How do Israel like? They got cool walk. Oh my God. They got a walk, a balance walk. Esau walks like I mean, you he know got what's funny is there are Israelites that look clumsy. Shit. Yeah, that you know? too. Right. You have that too. You got birth too, defects though. and you shit. Do. It's all spiritual. You just gotta be spiritual. It's all spiritual. Like I, I got I got a prescription for you. A lot of these people, they're like, you ain't an Israelite until you show me who your dad is. Prove to me who his dad and his dad is. You gotta have proof, right? Well, that's contrary to the scripture. Titus 3 and 9. But avoid foolish questions and genealogies. So and we, can, remember, we're dealing with the spirit here. He said to it's avoid. It's a spiritual thing. He's supposed to avoid genealogy. That's the point. It just says avoid genealogy. So some people don't try to say, to show me that you're an Israelite, you gotta prove to me who your dad is and his dad. You know what I'm saying? But first of all, nobody on the planet Earth can trace their genealogy all the way back to Jacob. Ain't a single person on this planet that can do that. You know what I'm saying? I can I can only trace my back like three generations. I can only go back to my great grandpa. Anything before that, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Them Jews and rats, they can trace back pretty far. They can go back pretty far. Well, a lot of them know they come from Amalek. You talking about them? Big ass Jews? Yeah, they Edomites. Amalek. Yeah, Amalek. Yeah. They come from the tribe of Amalek of the nation. How the hell they take over Israel? The Lord gave them the power to do it. The Lord took the strength. So he punished us Israelites and gave it to uh, just like he's the doing devils. Now. Same thing yep. he's doing now. But I'm gonna hit you with something else. Same too. thing he's doing now. And at the same time, but he's not giving them shit though. He didn't gave them nothing. But don't you know even our people are still scattered among those devils? Right. He didn't give them anything because you know all people in land they still got to import uh, trees and food. Yeah. They, they got to import to to the to where the Garden of Eden once was. Yeah, <laughs> right, right, right. Now what's now? So now the question is, what is the Lord giving? He gave them that. He <laughs> gave them a He gave them a chance to rule righteously. Which what did they do? The total they have opposite. Blowing little children up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of those Palestinians are Israelites. You know what I'm saying? Really? Yeah. But that, that, that's over in the land of Israel. You they think Ishmael. Or I Man, you got a lot of you got a lot of Ishmaelites over there, but that's the land of Israel. This Israelites been up been over there forever, so there's all kind of Israelites over there in the Middle East. Once it's over, they're gonna die over there. I mean, it's supposed to be over there. <laughs> Period. Israel, that whole land gonna burn in this. Man, don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't rain down on that land. Yeah, because you think America's in trouble. Yeah, so we pray, Lord willing, Iran will start shooting missiles on them. That's bad. That's close. That's close, man. That shit hands down. It's close. It's close. It's close. They making nukes already as we speak. Yeah, Obama said. So America's crying about Russia broke the 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 98 treaty that they had with missiles. Yeah. And, and, uh, Russia never liked them, man. Never did. Never, never, well, that's did. All never did. Never did. <laughs> they never didn't did. give a damn about what And even America's <laughs> allies never liked them. Right. You know, because that goes into uh, Jeremiah 40, 40, chapter 49. Anyway, because America, America's they America's so called allies. Uh, Gog, Magog, or whatever. Yeah, that's, that's Ezekiel. That's the land of Russia. Ezekiel right. 38. But, uh, uh, America's allies itself don't really like them. Uh, America has no friends but Israel. That's it. Like you nope. see, you see Germany's mad as hell at America right now for spying on them. Not just spying. America yeah. stole their gold. They stole like two hundred. Oh yeah, they own. Thousand, they won't give it back. Right. Two hundred. Two hundred thousand tons of gold Germany? from Germany. Cause, Germany, but cause Germany listen, invented. Uh, listen, but listen, after World War II, America, everybody wanted to do business with this place. Everybody wanted because America was prospering and was growing. So everybody brought their gold here and put it in Fort Knox. America was just set up by the international banking families. You know, the motherfuckers stole the gold, 
and America got to take the blame for it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's pretty, that's in a nutshell. That's pretty much in a nutshell what happened. You know, they stole the gold, but they ain't just stole the gold in Germany. They stole the gold of all the nations. All the nations. Africa wasn't was one of the most richest places, though. Boy, you talking about as far as resources and shit? Yeah, they say that. They say that. I got that scripture about those great. Yeah, hell yeah. I was just saying. Yeah, I didn't say it. I didn't say it. Oh, what I do? I lost it. Hold on, I know where it's at. It's in Numbers. That's a bad scripture, too. Uh, numbers, uh... Because uh, cause to me, when you say that, that sounds like some honey, I shrunk the kids. Well, it, it is, though. You know what I mean? Uh, they're talking about big, big ass, ass fruits. Shrunk the shit. Well, yeah. That's my shit back That's what happened to us. But the thing is, when those nukes drop, and this whole earth is going to be changed, the yeah. earth is going to get its strength back. It's going to be clean. Because you, okay. you be going to the grocery store every year and seem like, like, the, the, uh, the vegetables looking all shriveled up. Cucumbers looking sick. Yeah, pineapple is only like this big now. Yeah, little ass pineapples, little ass watermelons. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm young, man. I remember when I was young how things were just better. I remember when we, we used kids, yeah, we used to get apples this goddamn big. Apple, big apples, right? yeah. We used to get big giant everything apples. Everything had more flavor to it, too. Now everything's GMO. Mm -hmm. uh, everything's ran, all these farms are ran by a giant so Pretty much no matter what we, what, what we eat, Bugs. Well, we got to spray. Well, you spray to the most high. You be all right. Well, she said we're gonna be poisoned. Yeah, that's the scripture part. says we're gonna be poisoned. Yeah. We can't. It, it ain't. It ain't. It ain't that. It ain't. It ain't to the point where we can get rid of hundreds of years. Like, like I like the tour. I mean, there's that dude down there in uh, what's that Brazil? Black dude, I think, like 130, 120 something. So some people still live for a long time. You know? Hey, let me read this. Uh, All right, uh, this is Numbers 13 to 17. And Moses sent them to spy out the land of Canaan and said unto them, Get you up this way southward and go up into the mountains and see the land, what it is, and the people that dwelleth therein, whether they be uh, strong, weak, few, or many. And what the land is that they dwell in, whether it be good or bad, and what cities that they dwell in, whether in tents or strongholds. This is when Moses sent out spies at Atlantic Canaan because they was getting ready to attack him. But uh, Joshua was the one who eventually went up in there. And what the land is, whether it be fat or lean, or whether there be wood therein or not, and be ye of good courage, and bring the fruit of the land. Now the time was the time of the first ripe grapes. Okay, so they sent some spies out. Moses sent some spies out. It was like 12 spies, wasn't it? Yeah, he sent out a spy one for each of the 12 tribes. And uh, so they went up and searched the land from the wilderness of Zin to Rahab as men come from Hamath. And they ascended by the south and came unto Hebron, where Heman, Sishai, and Talamai, the children of Anak. The children of Anak are giants. You ever hear the Anakim? Anakim are giants, okay? Because the knock himself is a big ass giant. So these are children, these are big motherfuckers. Like you told you before, the giants got six fingers, six fingers. Two rows of teeth. They, they were cannibals, they ate people. You know what I mean? This and was a freaky ass earth back then. They bought, yeah. Hey, the funny thing is, this <laughs> earth is going to turn weird again. It's yeah. not the bad way, though. You've seen the movie, you seen uh, Avatar. I still ain't that's, seen that. That's man. a glimpse of the kingdom. Mountains, you know. You see Beautiful. mountains floating? Oh, that's the king. That's gonna be bad, man. Oh, man. You see uh, something like the that. grass talking to you, the grass talking, talking to you, that all that shit, man. That's a bad movie, man. Now, let me read this real quick, though. Uh, you're saying they got spiritual things behind them. Well, most of these spiritual movies, are, all these movies are made by the so-called Jew, and the, 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 the Jew knows the Bible, okay? Because he thinks he's gonna get his blessing back. Uh, you know what he I mean? don't got the spirit to use this Bible to get, as far as they use, the precept, they use it for which they know this book. They as far as places, people, because they got uh, scholars. They hire scholars because, you know, they do all their work, man. You know? <laughs> now, here's my look. Look at the point about the grapes. It says, uh, and they came unto the brook of Eshko and cut down from thence a branch with one foot 
wish I, I was like Mario Bros. We had some bombs I could throw these motherfuckers. Angels just probably making somebody uh, kill people or something. That's some angels got, they're getting busy. Right. Right now. Right. Where, you can't Where do you see chaos? It was Prince Harry. Oh, we seen him every week. That's the angels that were just there. Knowledge comes sorrow. All right, let me read this before we get interrupted. And they came unto the brook of Esco and cut down from thence a branch with one cluster of grapes. One cluster of grapes. And they bear it between two upon a staff. <laughs> and they brought the promagates into the pig. So it said they took down the cluster of grapes. And, and, it, and it took two people to carry it. One cluster. You know what the cluster is? Usually you hold one on the cluster with the hand. You know, when you buy a bag of grapes, that's so a cluster. So, so how you know it wasn't long? Right? Because she said right? one cluster of grapes. Sure. One cluster. You ever one seen cluster. movies when, um, you ever seen a movie, that's a movie when, um, I mean, they're all royalty. on the same stem. Right. right. One, one, some royalty or some king got some concubines around feeding grapes. Yeah. Right. That's a cluster. Yeah. That's a cluster. So it that took one thing. One cluster. That's a cluster. A they had to put it on a staff and it took two people to carry one. It, sh it should take two people to carry one cluster of grapes. Yeah, it was pretty big. Was they pretty had to be big. huge. So the grapes are the size of melons. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because, because listen, liquor. If, the grapes was, if, the, if those little grapes were the size of melons, then that must, melon, the, you know, must be twice as motherfucking long there. Well, of course, it was big as hell. The cluster was big as hell. But listen, liquid is heavy as hell. Your yeah, liquid's heavy. You know, so it took two. <laughs> you know, and listen, well, this is breaking down right here. This is, uh, you got more than that? Oh, well, yeah, I mean, well, I could read it, but. Go, this home, is, um, go this home and read Numbers 13. It talks about giants. Right, 11. This is Revelation 11 and 18. And the nations were angry. Oh, yeah, that's a good point, though. There was giants. So mm -hmm. the people was bigger. The fruit was bigger. You that's know right. what I'm saying? Because right. we ain't we ain't really, in essence, we ain't no different from the plants. The Lord's spirit, the same spirit of the Lord is in the plants as in us. That's right. Every, every mineral that's in the dirt, in the ground, is in you. Every mineral that's in the ground, we, we come from the dirt. That's what we come from. That's why Adam, the word Adam, means from the ground. And the nations were angry, and the wrath was come. In the time of the dead, that they should be judged. And thou shalt, and thou, and that thou shalt should, should, give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints and them that fear thy name. Them that fear the name. What's the Lord's name? Small and great. And should destroy them which destroyed the earth. Destroy them to destroy the earth. So all these faggots out here genetically modifying the food, they're going to be destroyed. What's up, man? I'm just confused with what's going on. I'm confused. I, I just showed up, so I don't know what's going on. We're just teaching the Bible. You believe in the Bible? Yes, I do. Oh, yeah. Anyway, what's let's up, get this. Where you? Hold on. Uh, what's your nationality? My nationality? Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't care. My mother's Caucasian, my dad's African American. African American? That's two different continents. Yeah, that's two different places. You from Africa and America? <laughs> what a, so now he's not trying to insult you or I'm make just you insist or nothing. Uh, I'm just trying to. What, a, what am I supposed to say? My, what's my dad? Is he, what, what do I call him? Well, whatever your dad is, that's what you want. Who did the Lord come to save? Huh? Who did the Lord come to save? Who do you consider the Lord? The one you call Jesus Christ. Your house shot. All of us. All of who? All humans. All, all humans? That's not true. That's not in the Bible. Can you show me that scripture? John 3. <laughs> John 316. <laughs> there you go, bro. Because I knew where he was going. You know what I'm saying? See, you've been out here long enough, you'll understand what you know. You just read people, you know. But that John 316, you have a totally misunderstanding on that scripture. So you're trying to say it was a parable of God? You can say that too, yeah. Uh, John 3.16 is talking John about 3, 16 is, uh, was his pretty much plain and clean. Right. Yeah. John 3.16 is. He's here to I'm going to John 3.16. Matthew John. I don't know where in the Bible. Something says God just came to save all men. He doesn't say that. He <laughs> says he came to save the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Listen, listen. This is Matthew 15 and 24. 
You hear me? Yeah. Matthews 15 and 24. But he answered and said, Red letters. I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The Lord came for the Israelites. That's his people. Let me read it again. And Israel is scattered among all nations. So we have to teach the gospel to all nations because Israel is scattered among all nations. That's the truth. Let me read it again. Matthew 15 and 23. But he answered her not a word, and his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she crieth after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. I got a scripture for you. Now, who is the Israelite? Oh, yeah, who's the Israelite? Are you Israelite? Yeah, I got a scripture for you. John 4, 22. Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews, who are Israelites. Salvation is of the Jews. They say of the Edomites. Yeah, because you say you believe in the Bible, but you don't, you ain't been taught the proper way. Okay? Because you don't know what you worship. We know what we worship. No, you don't. You've been lied to. We've been told a lie. Cut the church up, man. We're in a time of awakening, and with that awakening, the truth is coming out. You can't wake up and still be in darkness. When you wake up, you learn truth. So, the whole thing about. So, we all are sinners, correct? Correct. No. No, we're not. we're not. Actually, all of the Israelites are sinners, but a, a sin, they, they, a they, sin, they, what is a sin? It's a law that's not given to you. A the sin is the something is only that, like, we fall short of the glory ah, of God. Uh, can do what what is a sin? <laughs> like they do. Anything. They're teaching us to do. Right, you, right, tell right, me right. a sin. Yeah. Give me give me a list of sins. That's not kittle. That's not lust. That's not Where is that found at? Where does it the say new, that? The commandments. Where at? In, in the Bible? Yes. In the Old Testament, right? A sin is when you break one of the laws of the Old Testament. Yes. Okay, like eating pork is a sin. Committing adultery is a sin. Okay. You report? Okay. Being a homosexual is a sin. You report, don't you? Uh, Come on, I, don't lie. Every now and then. Okay, you report, just say yes, man. Hey, no, <laughs> no, actually, I took a long time where I was. I stopped eating pork, Ooh, pork and beef, so I right. eat it every, like, once in a while. Well, you shouldn't eat it all. Yeah, this is bad for you. Okay, okay. So, so a sin is when you... Who's the law given to? When Moses came down from Mount Sinai, who did he give those the laws he gave to? It to the Jews. Did he give it to anybody else? No. No, he gave it to the Israelites. So, he didn't give it to the Egyptians. So God just judges the Israelites. No, he so judges the, everybody. So oh, I'm just everybody. telling you, the law was given to Israel. Okay, the, the heathen ain't gonna keep the law, don't care about the law, okay? Because the law wasn't given to the heathen. The heathen has a different purpose than Israel. I got it right here. This is check this out. This is uh this is Psalms 147 and 19. Listen to this. He showeth his word unto Jacob. Who's Jacob? Jacob is Israel. You go. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Statutes and judgments, that's the laws. You go. He hath not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments. They have not known them. Like I said, the, Lord. the purpose of the heathen, the Lord got a different lot for the heathen, okay? The Israel's purpose is to rule the earth. What about uh, Romans 3.23? What about it? Can you, can you read that for me, please? Why don't you get it? I don't, I don't, I don't, have, Bible. I don't <laughs> have my Bible. I don't have my Bible on there right now. So. Is it Romans what? 3.23. You're going in a battle without a sword. <laughs> That's um, pretty much what you're doing. My, my electronic sword just died, so. Okay. Oh, man. That's all right, though. We'll let you slide. <laughs> all right. Good message. All right. All right. All right. For all sin, you come short of the glory of God. That's like a. Well, read, bro, read Romans 3 and 31. In the same chapter, right? Yeah. Romans 3 right. and 31. Do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid. Yea, we establish the law. Yeah. We establish the law. Yeah. Even because. We're all sinners. Well, yes, we all sin. We all have fallen short. Of course. Obviously. So how okay. do we get to heaven? Heaven? 
Yeah. What is heaven? Is it a cloud with pearly gates? Yeah. <laughs> the heaven and hell are conditions played out on earth. You know that? Because when we die, everybody goes to the spiritual realm when you die. Don't you know the same thing happens to everybody when you die? So do you guys believe in like, uh, like we're in the like, has the second coming of Jesus already happened It's yet? coming, it's coming. The second it's coming? coming? He's coming. Yeah, Ain't been on no second yet. He's coming. They ain't playing the chips in the straight down the street. Because you ain't no such thing as hell. Book of Revelations over here. Actually, I'm going to put an axe. Are you guys here on campus? On campus? Are you guys here on campus? Are you guys here on campus? Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to go because I have to actually go attend my Bible study right now. Yeah, you best go to that Bible study. You're not wrong. Yeah, that's good for you. For all that place you need. Because okay. you go through your Bible study, you ain't gonna learn a goddamn thing. I'm not. They ain't gonna they're gonna teach you nothing but bullshit. Okay. I feel like I That's like going and man. drink going to that Bible study is like getting you a glass of diarrhea and chugging it. Okay? That's what that's like that's what you're doing. But you ain't gonna get no nourishment out of that. Call them Pastor Pork Chops. That's what you're doing. I would have to disagree. Well, no, it's for you. Well, it's for you. 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 It's Actually, it is a body of people. Right, but what does it mean, the word church means? That's what I just said. The word church means to call out. It's a Greek word, uh, ecclesia. They're going to call out inside of a damn book, probably. Get in your hat. I'll get it. This is stone. I got a scripture for you. Hell, they locked the doors. You know, because your church is going to get burnt with fire, bro. The Lord's going to destroy it. It's going to get hit by missiles. It's going to blow up. Okay, if there's people like in the it, the if there's people inside of it, they're going to get blown up. They, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're going to get turned to a pile of ashes. They're going to get pulverized. Why is that? Because they're the devil. Let me read this. Let me read this. This is second I mean, I see right here. It says, it says Jesus is the devil. With these people that's teach Jesus. you, you won't hear it. That's, that's, that's the devil. It said, where does it say that's Jesus? It says, this is the devil. This image is not good. That was an actual man that lived. Well, I'm just saying, that's this, look, this looks like a depiction of here. Jesus. That's not, no, that's not even a picture of Jesus. Or no what? No, no, that's no, not a depiction of Jesus. It's a picture of what people, like, what people have made. <laughs> what people? Yeah, because people don't know the Bible. The Bible says Jesus had hair like wool. The brass. So does that look like woolly hair to you? Thanks. I don't know. You want to get it? I got this. Uh, Acts 7 and... Uh, Acts 7 and 47. But Solomon built him a house, built the Most High a house. Howbeit the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as saying the prophets. Made with hands. Heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool. What house will ye build me? Saith the Lord, or what is the place of my rest? The, the Most High, this is the temple of the Most High right here. Not in your demonic church that you about to go to. We put curses on your church. How did you guys, how, how have you guys like found all this stuff? Like, through the Holy Spirit. Holy yes, Spirit. You know what the Holy Spirit is? Yeah, I have the Holy Spirit in me. You got that spirit of Satan in you. God, you got God. demons. You ever hear of Legion? You know who Legion is? I've seen the movie Legion. Oh, yeah. So you know, them, watching those movies, they'll put demons on you too. Music videos. Yeah, because you, you. Illusions. Look, I'm not trying to knock you or anything, but you, you ain't got a fucking clue. You're totally lost. You're totally gone. We were at one time. Yeah, we was this gone. Thing about this. We were at one time until we received the truth. You know? Stop that you hear you ain't going to hear We were anything. idiots. We were retarded at one time. Exactly. I was retarded. You know? So you called me retarded. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I ain't, listen, listen. I, okay. With all due respect. Let me, talk, let me look, so. look, look, look. No, there's no respect to person. No, no, no. Not retarded. I was joking. Okay. What does ignorant mean? Stiff neck. Without knowledge. Just not knowing. You just don't know. Okay. It's not a, I'm not calling you a fucking faggot ass motherfucker. You ain't shit. I'm saying you. <laughs> 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 
I'm saying you're gonna give me, but just don't know. Okay. And you ain't number what, 18, 19, 20? 20. Wait, what you think, you know everything? I, oh, I definitely don't know anything, okay. but I know enough to have a strong foundation of my faith. Okay, let me ask you again. Who's what faith, man? though? <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> what time is it? Yeah, you got to go. Just <laughs> <laughs> straight look. Okay, so I'm well, Check it out, because the most high, he going to remind me. Like we're in that time, you was checking your watch. You was talking to the prophets. <laughs> you don't have to pay for that. Yeah, that's right. But listen, like, before you leave, we're going to go in this image a little bit, okay? This is Wisdom of Solomon 15 and 4. For neither did the mischievous inventions of men deceive us. That's an invention of men. That's an that's invention of right men. Here. Deceive us. Nor an image spotted with diverse colors, the painter's fruitless labors, <laughs> the sight whereof entices fools to lust after. And so they desire the form of a dead image that have no breath. I ain't got no breath. Both they that make them, they that desire them. Everybody want to pass out pictures of this devil. And they that worship them are lovers of evil things and are worthy to have such things to trust upon. Now, let's go into this image thing, okay? This is Revelation 1. Up, One in thirteen. Even the Bible. It's hard on two. Better than none of it. And in the midst of the self shit. I'm just not so crazy. Right now, I'm probably closer to a witness than anything else. What's up? You're a Jehovah's Witness. You're a Jehovah's Witness. Who's a Jehovah? I'm not. Uh, Jehovah's, they're, they're whack out there fucking wise. Jehovah's is a bunch of weirdos. They like to wake people up at 8 in the morning while I'm trying to sleep. I don't think their methods are, I don't agree with their methods, but they believe. The scripture said don't go house to house. You know, we sleep up we up all night sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I love them when Jehovah, when Jehovah Witness come to my door, they wish they never came to my door. Get your camera yeah, ready. Get I, your camera ready. I don't even get a camera no more. I don't even care. Last time we got a guitar. Oh yeah, I, I got that on video too. What is this apocryphal? Uh, that's part of the original 1611 King James Bible, which Jehovah ain't got. Huh? King James. Yeah, King James. Where did he get his Bible? What do you mean? You ever hear the Septuagint? The apocrypha was in the Septuagint. It's always this apocrypha. It's nasty. The Bible we're reading now has been translated so many times. So it'd be like me trying what? to translate. Hold on, hold on. No, you what don't know what you're talking about. What, what was the text yep. of the King James Bible? Adios. He's just the devil and he shall flee. No, I agree with that. That's yeah, not the text. What's his name? There is a one. I, I want to actually hear what? No one knows I, what he wants. Oh, no one knows what he wants. That's, that's a spirit right here. This is spirit. Revelation 1 and 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. I'm talking about the Lord. All right, devil. I'm talking about the Lord. the hell up. They call it he ain't waking up. Jesus. I don't know what Christ. I don't know this Christ. What the heck? I don't know that. I don't know who that is. Christ. That's a Greek. That's a Greek word. Right. What was? What was the Lord? What's his nationality? Yeshua. Uh, Yeshua. That's Yiddish. What was his nationality? The Lord. The Lord. Who they call Jesus? What was his nationality? Hey, really? And his voice has the sound of many waters. Yeah, now, he didn't talk like that. Let me the get the most high. He said, nobody saw the most high or whatever. I'm just going to get the image of the most high. Oh, I was just about to get that to Daniel. Oh, Daniel. <laughs> That's the spirit, you know? Yeah. See how we're working as one mind? That's the spirit, you know? No, let's hold on. Let's let, let the band play. Let the band play for an hour or two. <laughs> so Pass around the offering plate. <laughs> right, right. I right. right, look. Uh, Daniel 7 and 9. And I beheld till the thrones were cast down. And the ancient of days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, 
and the head of his hair, I mean the hair of his head was like the pure wool. And his throne was like the fiery flame. That's some chariots. That's a dump. It's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, got got dump. He did this. That's a goddamn dump. <laughs> See, like, dump. like that old, uh... You don't want to believe that shit. Mm -hmm. Who's that dude that came up here? He reminded me of uh, that, uh... What's that little kid show on PBS? You got the guy with the glasses, uh... What's that guy called? That little hard bark looking motherfucker? Uh, Dexter. Not Dexter, it's on PBS. It's Always wearing vests and shit. Mr. Rogers? Yeah, Mr. Rogers. No, I was a cartoon guy. Uh, I can't remember. Arthur? Yeah, yeah. Right. I think he looked like an Arthur type motherfucker. <laughs> 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 that dude just looked like a cartoon character to me, man. I can't take it serious. I mean, I, you know what I mean? I, I try to be cool with him for a minute. Right, right. But his spirit, because I, I can look at someone's spirit. I can read his mind.